10 seconds. Okay, it's getting so dark. Look how amazing. We are at totality. Now I have made it to my location where I am going to be filming the total solar eclipse. I am super excited. I mean, it's April 8th. We waited so long for this day to come. You know, I think today is going to be really, really special. I, growing up, used to shoot a ton of astrophotography and I would go out almost every night in the summertime and I would shoot the stars, the Milky Way, I would shoot some time lapses. But one of the most magical moments was I was in Northern Canada with my brother Dawson and we were able to see the Northern Lights. We didn't expect it. It was very, very special and I really think today is gonna to be a day like that. Now I did want to talk about the equipment I am going to be using to shoot the solar eclipse. So I have my trusty Canon C70 here with the 100 millimeter macro lens. Unfortunately, this is the longest lens I have, but I think it will do pretty well because it is a crop sensor. So really it's around 165 and I'll be able to shoot a little bit wider. So I won't necessarily have to track the sun during partial to total eclipse. Another thing I do have with me is this handy dandy little ND filter. So this is an ND filter that is actually 1000 times more than like an ND6. This is really meant so it doesn't burn my sensor, the sun while I'm shooting it. Next, I am gonna be using my Osmo Pocket 3. You know, I love the Osmo Pocket. I'm really using that to capture my day. Next, I do have my Sony a7R 4 You know, I love this camera and I have my 85 millimeter on right now, but I might switch to 20 millimeter because I think it'd be so cool to capture a wide shot during totality. We're gonna have to wait and see and find out. It's gonna be a spur of the moment whether I switch from 85 to 20. I don't know, I don't know. I'm too excited and really this is gonna be an awesome time and I'm so happy I could bring you guys along with me for the ride. I'm really hoping that the sun is going to be somewhere over this lake here and how beautiful of a wide shot is that going to be when it's super wide and you see the lake and the whole solar eclipse. The blue skies are starting to come out. It did stop raining and I really think we're going to have an amazing show for today. We are on our way to totality right now. We are at partial eclipse right now. It is 216 here in Pennsylvania. I have my C70 going where I'm capturing the entire Eclipse, it is getting darker right now. We are about six, seven minutes out. And as you can see, we are almost at full totality. We're about four minutes out, only four minutes. Okay, so we are just about at a sliver. We're one minute out, one minute out from totality here. 10 seconds. Okay, it's getting so dark. Okay. Oh, look how amazing. We are at totality. Look at the sky over there. Wow. There it is, in the sky, that is totality. Okay, so now I want to talk to you guys about my experience while viewing totality here. Honestly, it was really amazing. As you see in my video, I do freak out a little bit because it just feels so surreal. I mean, one minute it is super bright out and then five minutes later it's pitch dark but you have the most beautiful sky surrounding you. I'm very lucky that I was able to get up here in time and luckily for me, the clouds stayed out of the way most of the time. It was really magnificent, so I'm really happy with my experience overall. And yeah, this is, I mean, this has been a wild journey since this morning, and it's only 3.27. Part of the clips is still happening right now. Anyways, guys, till next time, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.